A slow home is correctly oriented to the sun and properly relates to its surroundings. In the last episode, I showed you how the design of my house responds to the east-west orientation of our site. It lets sunlight into the house when it's wanted and keeps it out when it's not. Now let's look at two examples of poor orientation. To make it simple, let's look at what would happen if my house was located on the opposite side of the street so that the backyard faces west. Notice how the sunlight diagram shows that there's now a problem because the big windows in the living room will let in too much afternoon sunlight in the summer and cause overheating. In this second example, the back of the house now faces north. This is also a problem because now neither the back deck nor the main living space will get any direct sunlight. This is not good in a cold climate location. As you can see, the design of the house needs to match up with the orientation of the lot in order to maximize natural daylighting and control solar heat gain.